Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Maxing a Level 3 Skiller in One Year. I'm super excited for this week because I am completely off from work. I have nine days off. I'm going to be playing a pretty good amount. I will also be spending some time with my girlfriend just so that uh, she still loves me. But yeah, I plan on doing a lot of lava rune crafting in this episode, so look forward to that. Just did a birdhouse run real quick. You guys should probably do one as well because you probably haven't done one all day. Everyone should be doing these. It's good passive hunter XP and decent profit as well. If you didn't see the last episode, definitely check that out. I had a horrible time at Pyramid Plunder. I died twice for literally no reason, just not paying attention. So I got a pretty good laugh out of that, so go check that out. And like I said earlier, the next couple episodes are going to be lava rune crafting. So I bought all the supplies uh, a little while ago, so we have it all banked, everything we need to get to 77. So that's going to be the grind for the next couple of days. Hopefully we can get that done, or at least as close to that as possible. I know I said I really didn't want to start runecrafting until I had like 99 agility, but to be honest, I can't really stick to one skill at a time. So I'm going to be hopping around quite a bit. I feel like 82 agility is a decent enough level to do the uh, lava rune crafting grind. So yeah, I'm satisfied with 82 for now. I've actually been live streaming a decent amount, so if you ever want to know when I go live, follow me on Twitter or join the Discord. Both links are in the description below. Check it out. So I'm going to do some lava runes now. This is the inventory setup. Got the earth talisman, earth runes, inventory of pure essence. We're wearing... Four pieces of graceful with fire tiara and craft cape. We have our binding neck and our dueling ring. So let's get started. There's the first level of lava runes, 24 rune crafting. Long way to go. And here is level 30 rune crafting. There's level 35 rune crafting. And there is level 40 rune crafting. There's level 42 rune crafting, but more importantly, that is 1,000 total level. That's awesome. There's level 45 rune crafting. Level 50 rune crafting. I think that means we're halfway to 99, right? Maybe at least halfway to 77? Actually, we're not even close. So a little update on the fishing. I was actually doing a little bit of AFK on mobile last night. I got 67 and 68 fishing. And there's level 55 rune crafting. Still doing some lavas, but just wanted to give a little update on the hunter levels. We got 65 hunter this morning with birdhouses. There's level 60 rune crafting. Let's take a look at the bank, see how many more runs we have to 77. Still over 4,000 runs. We have just under 4,400 runs left to 77. So today's a new day for me, and I've been slacking pretty hard on my farming runs. So I'm going to get back into them. So what I'm going to go do is buy a bunch of U saplings. I'll use up the rest of these magic saplings, but then I'll just go back to U since they're a lot cheaper. And then I'll get back to doing my fruit trees as well, just to do some cheaper farming methods rather than rushing it completely. And we also need to do more birdhouse runs because we've been slacking on those as well. Just to kind of give a comparison between prices of trees, we find magic saplings at 161k and a U sapling, I believe they're about half the price of that. Oh wow, they're 100k less, so they're 62k. So big uh, difference in price, and it's definitely worth the little XP difference. So I'm getting 100 U saplings, and I have 20k barley seeds since I was almost out of seeds for birdhouse runs. I believe I still have a bunch of palm saplings for my fruit trees. I do, I'm up to 72. So yeah, let's go uh, get back into the rhythm of doing some farm runs here. So I've actually had quite a few people ask how I do farm runs. So I figured I'd just give a quick example, maybe a minute or two long of how I do the farm run. So the inventory setup is your GP. You probably only need about 10K. I just usually bring my whole catch stack. Uh, teleport to Varrock for the tree, Lumbridge for the tree. Faldor, there's actually two trees because there's one in Taverly. Uh, I do Camelot for the fruit tree. Skills necklace for another tree. And necklace of passage is a fruit tree and a regular tree. So I start off by using the Varrock tab. I probably could have just ran here, but just for example's sake, you just run up here, you check health on the tree. As soon as you get the XP drop, you can pay this guy, press one, 
and plant your magic sapling. And I don't actually pay the fee, I just use Ultra Compost, that's all I do. Um, they don't die very often, and the fee is normally pretty expensive. Next one is in Lumbridge. Just use the tab and do the same thing. The magic trees are pretty good XP drops, but they just, they're just they so expensive. I just can't see it in the long term with how much money I have left. Then you pay the guy again to take it out rather than cutting it yourself because that's just not worth the time. Plant another one. You compost it. You could also bring a stamp pot, but I, uh, I kind of forgot. So yeah, normally I bring like one dose of a stamp pot because I end up doing a birdhouse run afterwards as well. So then you do this little Falador tree here. Same thing, right click, pay this guy. Don't ever cut it down yourself unless you're like an Iron Man or something, I guess. And need the, need the mats. And then the next one's up here in Taverly, so I'll, I'll do a quick cut to that. So yeah, this next one, you just run up the path here from Falador. You could put your house to Taverly and just run, use a house tab and just run down here. But I, I don't mind running up here, and I'd rather have my house in uh, Relica for the agility course. So that's what I'm going to stick to. Made a quick pit stop at the crafting guild to grab a stamp pot. But yeah, then I used the Camelot tab, and I'd run down to Catherby to do that fruit tree. So you get to the fruit tree, you check health again. I never pick the fruit. I'd rather just pay this guy and get it over with. I don't think it's worth the time. I didn't actually grab palm saplings. Rip. Anyway, back with some palm saplings. That was kind of a fail. Uh, I just plant it, ultra compost it, and then I go to the outpost, and there's a regular tree and a fruit tree here. Don't AFK while you're running up here, because with 10 HP, these guys can actually kill you. I think their max hit is five. So don't, uh, don't stop running while you're going through there. So the regular tree is off to the left, and the fruit tree is just up to the north and to the right. So we pay this guy again. Use whatever tree you're using, but I'm going to now switch over to the U trees. Same thing, just compost it. And then the fruit tree is just up here to the right. So I'm not going to show that, but it's not very far away. So the next one I do is the farming guild. You could do all everything in the farming guild as long as you have the level for it. I do not quite have 85, which unlocks the fruit tree up here. I could boost for it, but I guess I'm just lazy. But the tree patch is right here as soon as you teleport here. Now I know there are more fruit trees I could be doing. I only really do two of them. I just do the two easiest ones, I think. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't do the other ones. Not yet, at least. So now that the regular farm run is done, you can drop the pots and stuff to reduce your weight. I go to Fossil Island to start the second half of it, which includes the hardwood trees, which are once every three days, and your birdhouse runs, of course. So to do birdhouse runs, assuming you have all these unlocked, you just go to the uh, two option, use the best logs you can for your level, replant them and seed them, of course. I know this might not be what everyone uh, needs, but I've had quite a few requests for farming and birdhouse runs, so I figured I'd just throw it in here. You could skip ahead if you uh, if you don't need this, but I figured I'd help some people out that have been asking. So you do these two, which are super close together, then you go to the fourth option, and there's one up here just to the north. Same thing, empty it. You need a chisel and hammer. Replant it, seed it. And then I go to my hardwood trees, and then I do the fourth birdhouse. Hardwood trees are great XP, and they're super cheap. But uh, you have to wait a long time for them to finish. That's the only thing. So we check our mahoganies. Yeah, they're 15k XP drops. Pretty nice. Replant these. Pay the squirrels here to uh, get rid of them for us so that we don't have to chop them down. No tangle root today. Feels bad, man. And then we go and do our fourth and final birdhouse. So with that run, I got 151k farming XP. And it'll be about 4k... Hunter XP after that one's done. Yeah, it's about 4,080 Hunter XP. So those are the runs. 
And there's level 69 fishing. Nice. We are officially under 100k earth runes left to 77. There's level 65 rune crafting. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I know it's not a whole lot of gains. Rune crafting is extremely slow, but we made some decent progress, I'd like to think. I know the uh, farm run and birdhouse run example is not what everyone needs, but I've been asked enough times to where I felt like I should put it in the video, and it's a good way to add some more content to the video as well. So if you made it this far into the video, I love you, as always. We just got channel memberships, so if you feel so inclined, hit that join button. If not, I still appreciate a like and subscribe, as always. And that's going to do it for now. We'll see you on Friday with some more RuneCrafting games.